As we look back on this week, we must review the lessons we have learned, the ideas presented to us, the calls to action. Each day we've asked you to be aware, to compliment others, to respect all students and faculty, and to reach out to those you do not know. Just as last year's ripple effect came to a close, a question lingers. What is the next step? Now the responsibility lies solely on you. In order for this campaign to achieve its purpose, we must take from it the invaluable virtues that advance a considerate and welcoming atmosphere and integrate them into our everyday lives. The ripple effect itself lasts only a week, but if its goals are not recognized for much longer, then our efforts will have been in vain. But how can we ensure our goals manifest and become ingrained in our school's culture? What would I like to see on this campus? I will tell you. I would like to see kids that care. I would like to see kids that care about others when they see people sitting by themselves that they'll flash them a smile or go sit next to them. I'd like just to see kids respect each other and respect us and I'd also like to see us respect our kids. I think that if we create an environment that is willing to look around and be thankful for where we are and just be happy and nice to people, I think that this campus can really change. We need to find a way to make the ripple effect last more than just a week because right now that's what a lot of kids see it as is just one week of tolerance and some jokes here and there about oh the ripple effect but you know as as a staff as a student body as a community what we need to do is find a way to extend it and make it so it's not just a week long time for acceptance and awareness find a way to instill reminders in our community that hey this is a big deal and we do need to be accepting and we do need to be grateful and show respect and show compassion day in and day out. Reinforcing positive behavior and being aware of what hurts others are key factors of continuing the Ripple Effects creed. And some already made plans to live by it. I'm pr pretty much just going to take from Ripple Effect the events that we've done like recognizing someone and I'm going to do that more each week with people I don't know and just appreciating people and accepting them for who they are and it, I would like showing them that who they are is okay and that we love everybody for who they are just every piece of them and um, appreciating also the people that work at Grand Bay more and um, be respectful by picking up more trash and just showing them that what they do is important to us. I really hope that after Ripple Effect Week I can go out and reach out to people I wouldn't normally reach out to and make new friends and discover their awesome personalities. Well anyways, today's bulletin for the Ripple Effect is something I'll definitely be using throughout my daily life, reaching out and helping to others because like I know when I was younger I really did not have a lot of friends and like this year has been really helpful for me. I met a lot of people and Ripple Effect has just been helping a ton of people. If you still have your Ripple Effect wristbands, we encourage you to write what you intend on changing on the inside of your wristband and tie it on the front gate as a reminder to live in a manner of respect, compassion, understanding, and tolerance. There is a sentiment that the Ripple Effect won't change much, that one week is just not long enough to establish more positive behavior among the student body. But how long is long enough? A month? A year? How long will it take to change? If you want to see change, you must become the change. If you lead by example, then others will follow. If you want people to take bullying seriously and stand up to the sarcastic comments, the doubts that the weak will express, the scoffs by the immature who say that this campaign will not make a difference, then you must change. If you lead by example, then others will follow. Ultimately, you have the choice. The choice to come together with those who have already taken steps to change their behavior. It will not be easy. But every person, every student that decides that they have matured, 
to a state where making fun of others is no longer a game will make a difference. There will still be those who doubt. The weak will back away and claim that success cannot be achieved. This is entirely up for you to decide. You can make a difference. You can cast a stone. You can create the ripple.